Hey everybody, uh, I don't know if the next one is any true or not, but I'm going to put it up anyway. Um, I've seen two or three of these stories, so I'm fairly confident there's some truth to this. From Conservative Tribune, uh, people are seeing UN vehicles. And here's pictures here on the highway. I'm trying to find out. Uh, they recently videotaped 30 UN vehicles fully loaded with combat repair troops driving through Dallas area. Uh, in the direction of Ireland, which was the site of a border terrorist attack past week. Oh, my bad. I'm so sorry, folks. I'm glad I did this. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, that's where I was reading right here. And uh, somebody said it looked like on Facebook. Nah, I would have covered my uh, picture too, because <laughs> like nobody can find that picture using uh, Google Images or anything. Anyways, wondering why 30 United Nations vehicles fully loaded with combat prepared troops were driving on a highway in Dallas, Texas. Nevertheless, the information is viral and many Americans grow concerned about possible UN takeover or whatever it ends up being. Uh, I'm not going to bother to show this video here, but basically this is it right here. On its face it seems like wildly unlikely idea, but the question stubbornly remains why are the UN vehicles there? Why are they speeding across Texas? Shouldn't the UN military personnel being peacekeeping in Darfur and Liberia. Their presence on America's interstate is really troubling and more. And it's basically getting more questions than answers. And of course when you call, nobody tells you nothing because you're not supposed to know it. And that's the way they work the system. <laughs> 